Hi. So Unfriended has a sequel that's trying to copy what Clue did back in the 80s, where it's releasing two different endings into theaters. And like an Elon Musk tweet, you get into it, you have no idea how this thing's gonna end. Now you don't have to see the first one to watch this one, but you might wanna see the second one before I completely spoil it for you in this video. I'm gonna break down both endings. I'm gonna break down why you should be using Hooli Chat over Skype and how, well, none of it really makes any sense. Let me explain. So right off the bat, my dude from Slasher Review sent me a pic of the projection instructions that they're sending out that pretty much just spoil both endings. One ending has the reveal of the kukuis that are haunting them as being real people, real dark web hackers, hence the title. But the other is that it's actually a really, really dark web and it's really demons who did it all. Reason why this is a little unswifty is because while the endings may be different, right? Everything before it ain't. Blumhouse ain't just giving out the budget of a cake, they eating it too. Here's the thing with that, right? It doesn't mean that there still can't be a decent Blumhouse story in there. Maybe it's a double ending gimmick, but I'll break it down and let you decide. See, in the first one, it was very clear that it was all demons, right? They were invading their chat, they were killing them one by one, and at the end, it pretty much pins everything on Snot Girl over here and then kills her too, which, you know, would have been way more jacked up if you left her alive to deal with it all but it, it seems y'all were in a hurry. This one also kind of feels that way because, you know, they shot it in secret and I'm not gonna lie, I feel a little salty because my favorite movie of the year is Searching and that's coming out in a couple of weeks, yet they did this gimmick and kind of released this right before Searching is coming out to almost like scoop up some of the attention so that when Searching comes out, people may not be looking at it in the most positive light. But I'm telling you, watch Searching, that ain't no gimmick. This one, however, has a dude who straight up jacked a MacBook from a coffee shop, only to realize that it belongs to a deadly hacker. Or a demon. Depends what ending you get since MoviePass ain't gonna let you double book. Him and his buddies do this game night on Skype all the time. You know, they got these two who are getting married, this guy who is Hemsworth from Black Hat, she mostly just sits there. And this man, man, this man, imagine if Ryan from The Office hosted his own Infowars. Main dude also has a girlfriend who he's trying to learn sign language for, but he's too lazy to learn it, so my man would rather legit Steve Wozniak a program that does it for him instead of him going to the classes for it. That's actually the reason why he stole the computer in the first place, since he needed more RAM to create that, but then my dude gets rammed with some glitches. See, with the first ending, you got a group of deadly hackers who get paid on the dark web to go kill people and capture it for the highest bidders online, and these dudes are making millions in Bitcoin. That's why this computer has like no space in it when he first gets it because there's like Pokeepsy tapes that are being filed away in here. It's why the hackers find a way to swat one of the dudes, Exo Tour Life another, and pretty much have the big twist being that they actually left the laptop to be found because they wanted them to tamper with it so then they can blame all of their killings on these idiots right here. And then the last two gets run over because Moron's just standing in the middle of the street. Pretty much ending one is like Nerve meets John Wick where the dark web just pays the hackers to kill people for fun and then sends it out to them. The second ending is a demonic one. <laughs> and again, it, everything's literally the same beforehand. So now instead of them being actual physical people who have this like secret society online, it's actually demons who are doing things, right? So the weird glitches that didn't make sense in the first storyline where human hackers were floating into places, well, now they do because, you know, it's demons, right? When they were magically hacking into computers way that hackers would never do, oh, okay, well, it's because it works for the second one because they're demons and everyone's a ghost. You know, it explains why the dark web hosts are called Sherons, which in Greek mythology were Hades' minions who took souls down the dark river, which is exactly what this Minecraft server is called that they use. So in this one, it doesn't really make sense to frame these guys since, well, you're demons. The police can't really arrest you, yet they still keep that bit for the last ending. Either way, if I had to pick, I wish they got rid of the ghost glitches and kept the first ending, right? It obviously didn't work for me, but I get that the gimmick is to get more butts and seats. Maybe some people will want to see it twice. But for me, in the meantime, I'm just sticking to writing letters. Thank you guys for checking out this video. I'm curious to know your thoughts on it. To me, it was just a stream. And I think it's got a very interesting ending where it's these hackers who are setting people up. The second ending being just demons makes me wonder why the demons even needed to frame anybody or, you know, just, just keep doing your demon thing. But I'm curious to know your thoughts on it. There's a there's a little bit of a theory out there that the colors for the username of the Sharons will, will switch. I think one is blue and one is red. And depending on what color they are, that will also kind of give you a hint of what your ending is going to be. The blue, I believe, being the the human hackers and then the red being the ghost hackers but let me know your thoughts on this movie or anything else down below don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i'll send you some norton antivirus security